Over the years, school lunches have become healthier. But in addition to being healthy, it is important that students enjoy them as well. And for that to happen, we need to hear the voices of students as we continue to make healthy improvements to the lunch menu. In early 2014, the Philadelphia Department of Public Health's Get Healthy Philly initiative launched the Culinary Voice, a competition for public high school culinary arts students. The winning recipe would become a new entree on the school lunch menu. The idea for the competition grew out of a partnership between the School District of Philadelphia and Get Healthy Philly. In addition to creating the new entree, we also wanted to support culinary instructional programs and increase the nutritional content of school meals. And it also seemed like a good way to give students a direct voice in their school meals. The cooking challenges place its emphasis on the National School Lunch Program, whose mission is to ensure that all students have the ability to eat a balanced and affordable school lunch. Probably that in the rest of this year and the next year. So I'm pretty excited about that. And we know that our doors are always open so that you can house events here like this. My favorite food is lasagna because it's a family tradition. My dad makes it all the time and my mom loves it. So every time he makes it, he come over and we eat it. And we picked Louisiana style because it had collard greens in it. And then we add, wanted to add a little spice to it to kick. It gives food a flavor kids might like. And a kick. So Robinson and I'm in the 10th grade. We chose the chicken soul food, right? Because it's something that I think kids would enjoy. It's not really like. It's, it's healthy, and it's enjoyable, and you can take it on the go. I don't know. Okay. Hi, my name is Sianna Jackson, and I'm in the 10th grade. And we choose a soul food rat for, like, people don't have to pick over their food. They can just take it, pick it up, and eat it. And it was enjoyable, and people loved it. Hi. Look up the camera. Look, look, uh. Hi, my name is Nashira Jones. I'm in the 10th grade. And I think we chose um, the chicken soul food wrap because we wanted to do something different that people would enjoy, but also like be creative with the wrap that we chose. What was in it? Talk loud. Give me some love. Um, it was chicken, fried beans, um, greens with some seasoning, and uh, some taco uh, sauce. Okay, so well, do you think you have a future in in uh, culinary arts? Yes, I do. I believe that like I want to be I want to be a pastry chef, so I want to be able to expand my knowledge. So I do have a few. I believe I have a future in culinary arts. So, so what what did you think about winning the final award? Were you surprised? Did you? Yes, I was surprised because the other team had a nice entree as long as we did, but we won. Do you think you have a future in culinary arts? Yeah. Okay, so um, so what do you, do you think you been your competition? Oh, it was fun. I like being um, timed and stuff because we had to rush and we never been through that before. So it was a wild experience. Uh, do you, go ahead and tell me the same thing. Hi, my name is Shantae English. I'm in 11th grade. My favorite food is chicken. Um, what I liked about our dish was the spice because I love hot stuff and spice, spicy stuff. Um, I like the competition because I'm a competitive person, so I like competing. Yeah. Well, would you like to see this competition get grow larger? Yeah, I would. Tell me why. Because I think uh, like more kids out there like me that like to Say, compete. I think this competition should grow larger because? I think this competition should grow larger because there's people out there that like to compete like me and can make a difference in the school lunch. All right, come on, same thing, man. My name is James Curry. I'm in 11th grade. Well, you got to give me some, man, <laughs> some bass, brother. Come my, on. 
My name is James Curry. I'm in 11th grade. My favorite food is macaroni and cheese. It's an American tradition. Uh, the food we chose for the competition, I like it because we were learning about Louisiana and the culture and the dishes that they made, and it just seemed like an appropriate dish to be made for a school lunch. It gives food a kick. It gives it a flavor that kids might like. So, um, so, so tell me, first of all, each of you say your names. Rakia Baines. Say it really loud. Rakia Baines. James Gard. Shante Eames. Take the Collier. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to need you to speak really loud, you know, so we can <laughs> really hear it really well. So what inspired you, you guys, to get involved in this? Let's, let's start down there with you. Um, for the fun of it, and I, I enjoy cooking and stuff, and it runs in my family, so I just enjoy cooking. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I just want you to say that, that uh, one more time. Oh, I enjoy this because the fun, I love, I love to cook, and it runs in the family, so that's why I love cooking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did this because... My chef and us, we was researching about he healthy eating and discovering the South and how different dishes. I like cooking. All right, really loud. Give it to me, man. I wanted to make a difference in school lunches. Get the students something better to eat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cooking runs in my family. I grew up around cooking. So it was like it was like I had a passion for it already. So when we heard about the healthy making, I'm like, okay, well I want you know, I want kids to eat healthy. So it's like I wanted to make a change in the school lunches. Okay. So 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 what inspired you guys to arrive at um, this particular um, meal? I mean, how did you decide that this is what you wanted to uh, cook? Because our chefs gave us a list of ingredients that they will have there. So then we just like brainstormed about how we could put it together. At first we was going to do a wrap, but then we thought we could make it better. And we came up with that. And, um, I kind of like, we like, I researched New Orleans. I'm like, okay, well they, I told them about New Orleans. They're like, okay, well how about we make a New Orleans style chicken meal. And I'm like, um, okay, we can do that. So basically it all had to do it all had to, it was all based around New Orleans. Like, we really wanted to do that, just to do something different. Mm -hmm. So, 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 what is it you guys know about New Orleans? I mean, that made that, that appealing? Their culture, they have a spicy appeal to their cuisines and their meals. So, we use hot sauce. Yeah. To try they like to spicy foods, like a kick to their, to their meal and stuff, like mm -hmm. a lot of taste. To add more flavor. Yeah. yeah, it's like a lot of flavor down in New Orleans. Like everything they do is just big and it's just real out there. So that's how we wanted to go about it. Mm -hmm. So, so describe describe the final product to, to me. What what was that? What what did it? What was it? It was red beans and white and brown rice, and it was um, collard greens. With ham. Yeah, with ham. With turkey ham turkey. added into it. And um, uh, chicken. chicken, yeah, and chicken, chicken. like chicken slices. Yeah, with chicken with vegetables, green peppers, onions, green peppers. and red peppers. Mm -hmm. and it's yeah. a lot of a lot of hot sauce. So, so have you guys have you guys cooked any of these uh, meals um, at home? Have you cooked this meal at home for your uh, brothers, sisters, yes, parents? I yeah, I yeah. did it, but I had. Yeah, there more hot sauce than usual. <laughs> yeah, more hot sauce than usual. I was like, okay, no, I'm doing this. Like, I really got Louisiana hot sauce. It was just like, you know, I'm going to do it like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what, what's your future? What, what do you want to do in the future? I mean, do you plan to take this skill uh, into your life after high school? Yes, yes, I do, but then, like, my backup plan is to be a massage therapist, but I still also want to do culinary because it runs in the family, and I love cooking. So I might take that up, too. Yeah, I do. I want to be a, a chef and own my own restaurant, and my backup is probably a therapist. I want to be a head chef at a top restaurant. My backup plan is to be a psychiatrist. Um. I want to travel. I'm going to travel to different countries getting um, different recipes, like different flavors or whatever. Then I'm going to use that to make my own restaurant. 
and my backup plan is to be a pediatrician. Mm-hmm. Hey, so, so, so what year are you in school? When we graduate? Uh, yeah. Um, 2015. 2015. So that, that makes you what, uh, juniors? Yes. Or? yes. 2015. Okay. Okay. Well, good. So how, how would you guys summarize this experience? I mean, was it really, really enjoyable? Was it? Yes. It was different. Well, overall, overall, it was a fun experience. We got to try new things, meet new people. Learn. It, it was just fun. And we, got, we stepped out of our comfort zone. Like, we usually take our times with making the meals we do in school, and it was like, we only had a certain amount of, it was like stepping out. It, with people watching it, it was like we had a crowd, which was which was, which was different for us. So it was, like, really overwhelming but fun at the same time. Mm-hmm. So in, in some ways, I, well, maybe it was sort of a different way of learning. I mean, rather than just sitting down going over stuff theoretically in a book or, you know, literature, you actually, you know, got your hands involved. Will there be a, a, a paper at the end of the school year for this project? Or? Uh, yeah, we're yeah. using this for a senior project. Right. Okay. The experience and we're... we're also planning to cook the whole meal for um, the That's school good. during lunch. Uh-huh, to see what, like, if students like our recipes and stuff, try something new. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, just to see how it would go, if they like it or not. We just want to see how it will be. Then also, we're trying to, like, meatless Monday, so, like, to introduce, like, healthy eating to the corner, I mean, to our school. Like, we're trying to show them that you don't need, you don't need meat in order to have a good meal. Like, you can use vegetables. You mm-hmm. can you can use stuff other than meat. So, we want to try to promote that. Excellent. Mm-hmm. All right, well, thank you so much. I think, I think yeah. that I have what I want. Who, now, who's moving? Are you moving for In the future, I would want to be a psychiatrist, but if I, that doesn't work out. I will fall back on culinary and becoming a chef. Thank you.